Welcome to the Cal Poly Pomona Crystallography Co-op. Today, we will introduce how to use a single crystal X-ray diffractometer for determining the 3D atomic structure of a molecule over the course of three videos. This first video will introduce radiation safety and the X-ray diffractometer. The Cal Poly Pomona Crystallography Co-op houses a Brooker D8 Venture diffractometer with copper and molybdenum microsources and a photon 2 detector. It is best suited for determining the 3D atomic structures of small molecules and proteins. This video series will primarily focus on using the instrument to collect X-ray diffraction data from small molecules. However, many of the steps are very similar when analyzing protein samples. Important differences between the two experiments will be highlighted. Remember that to work safely in the lab, you will need appropriate personal protective equipment, including a lab coat, gloves, and safety goggles or safety glasses with side shields. The X-ray diffractometer has additional safety considerations because the instrument produces ionizing radiation. Only those who have been properly trained in radiation safety are authorized to use the X-ray diffractometer. We hope this video will offer an introduction to the instrument for those who are unable to directly use it. Radiation sources such as X-ray producing equipment are strictly regulated in the US by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission or NRC. Cal Poly Pomona additionally has a radiation safety committee that regulates radiation sources. Two types of safety controls are highlighted here, administrative safety controls and engineering safety controls. Examples of administrative safety controls include instrument and radiation safety training, limiting exposure, written standard operating procedures, signs, and alarms. Notice the trefoil sign on the outside door of the lab. This sign notifies you that a radiation source is behind the door. On the sides of the X-ray diffractometer and inside the housing are lights to alert you when X-rays are being produced. When X-rays are being generated, the lights are on. Examples of engineering safety controls include locked outside doors that limit access to the room housing the diffractometer, a lead enclosure around the instrument, and locking doors with interlocks. Now we are ready to examine the diffractometer itself. This picture highlights general instrument components including the copper source, molybdenum source, detector, beam stops, collimators, cryostream, and goniometer. When the instrument is under normal operating conditions, there is minimal risk to the user. However, regular monitoring is critical, and it is important to be properly trained to be able to identify when there is a problem and to know what the risks are. This concludes the first video in our three-part video series on using a single crystal X-ray diffractometer. The next video focuses on mounting and centering samples.